Well, I have to admit this is an excellent way to dive into exponentials. This panel suggests folding a piece of paper 40 times to get us to the moon. This is creative and has some truth to it, although in reality it doesn't quite work. Now let's set things straight. This is about exponential growth. Since each time we fold the paper its thickness doubles, mathematically speaking, if we keep doing it for 40 consecutive times, the paper's thickness would go from 0.1 mm to 110,000 km, which is actually less than half the distance to the moon. However, while its thickness grows exponentially, the surface area of the paper decreases in reverse, meaning each fold halves the surface and after 40 folds, an A4 paper will go from a surface area of 623 square centimeters to 56 square nanometers, which is smaller than many bacteria. To visualize this, if the original A4 sheet were the size of the earth, the folded version would be smaller than a grain of sand. Fun fact, if Earth was somehow compressed to a diameter of 2 cm, it will result in the formation of a literal black hole. By now you're starting to see why this idea doesn't work. In practice, and you can try it yourself, it's impossible to fold the paper more than 7 or 8 times. Each fold doubles the paper's thickness until it becomes impossible to bend. Even with heavy machinery, continuing to fold the paper would only tear it apart. The surface area as mentioned earlier also decreases exponentially leaving us less and less material to work with. Even with some tricks and using extremely thin and long paper, the world record is only 12 folds. The theoretical calculation assumes that the paper is infinitely large and can be folded perfectly in half each time. 